We are probably the furthest we've ever been on a Thursday. I'm actually hoping by three o'clock-ish we can have this thing running and then maybe after three we can just spend the rest of the time cleaning, cleaning, cleaning and then actually just sit and enjoy this for the first time on a Thursday night. Like, we will have it finished. What people probably really want to know and the suspense is probably actually killing them is did I get the garbage out? A lot of guys have used the basalt columns with the fire. Nobody's used the basalt columns with the fire and the water the way they're intended to be used. So we've not only got this set of three, we got another set of three over there and another set of three over there all having the water and the fire coming together. I'm speechless, breathless. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. All your guys absolutely killed it. Weston came with an over-the-top design that I gotta well, be honest. Pushing crazy. I, I gotta be honest. It, it's a little bit bananas, <laughs> but there are so many ingredients into this recipe for it's almost like expert artistry at this point. There's so many things that could have gone wrong. You know, the glass, the bolt. Yeah, we got lucky on every front. In the morning, we kind of talked through about some of the things that we were looking to accomplish very early on in the day, and we had a plan as you articulated to us, and we are getting there, right? tackling this section Ed and I are over there finishing up the fountainscape so then pretty soon we can start getting that stream dug and getting that yeah. seam down so after lunch I'd like to get this step in and kind of get the, the core chunk of this done before lunch after lunch we're going to switch back to like finishing this area off and we're taking that stream seam onto that line and heading back awesome we got to get gravel in here 100 percent start washing this whole thing down I don't know can you go over this little area not yet no okay so just a trick, whether you're building a pond in a sandbox studio or out at home or you're in Canada, <laughs> one thing we like to do is make it really easy to rinse and wash these things down. Often when we're building our ponds, we'll actually slope our shelves, slope the bottom of the pond to one area. This area kind of got away from us. We have a massive, massive flat area here. So rinsing the gravel down was going to be really difficult because not all that water is not going to migrate to one deep area. So what we did before we got too far is we folded this liner back dug a trench that you can kind of see this that kind of comes this way and a spot for our clean out pump to sit now all that water when we rinse it down will all migrate that dirty water will all migrate down to this area and we can keep pumping that dirty water out till it pumps up clean if we didn't do that you'd be moving this pump around all over the yeah. place inevitably never getting everything as clean as you wanted to and we have less than 24 hours to get this pond crystal clear normally when we're doing a project outside we don't look for it to be crystal clear in a day you've got a few days for the filter to kind of work through all the sediment and the dust and stuff and the biological filter will take care of all that. Here we don't have that opportunity. We have 24 hours before the next artist of the year comes in and we've got to get this thing spot. Especially with that koi window. Yeah. Especially with the koi window. Yeah, the koi window would look a little stupid, Weston. If, it, <laughs> if the pond was murky. No, 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 no. He goes, are you still whining? <laughs> Thursday, which <laughs> down, pin down. It's Thursday. <laughs> you never know what it is. Like it really didn't hurt because it was an empty bottle, but sometimes these guys throw boulders and you just don't know. So it was more of uh, the pain from memory right mm. there. <laughs> I was super happy, yes, with the progress we made yesterday. Weston and I actually stayed a little later, set some frame rocks for the waterfall up there. We are probably the furthest we've ever been on a Thursday. I'm actually hoping by three o'clock-ish we can have this thing running and then maybe after three we can just spend the rest of the time cleaning 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 and then actually just sit and enjoy this for the first time on a Thursday night like, we will have it finished this clean this clean but before I talk any more about what's happening today what, pe <laughs> what people probably really want to know 
You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> what people probably really want to know in the suspense is probably actually killing them is did I get the garbage out? Mm hmm. And did you? Oh, yeah. Yep. Both the recyclables and the garbage. I remember here in the truck, clink, clink, clink this morning at 6 a.m. Like I nailed it. <laughs> Final push, right? We're gonna get this thing done. You can see fabrics down. The reason we put the fabric down is because our muddy boots track dirt all over the place and we're trying to rinse things down and we don't want to have to rinse again and again and again. So we're rinsing, we're cleaning, we're acclimating water in the back for the fish. Weston and his creek team is finishing up the last waterfall over there. We have to go get some mulch and stuff to do really kind of a fire pit area over in the back corner. But I think we're gonna finish this thing today, which would be awesome just to kind of take a big deep breath tonight and enjoy it. All right, well let's go. So we've got to finish up this area around the, the negative edge, you know, the overflow area down and through here. So while they're working on that, you wanna, we'll button up this over yeah, and through we'll here. This up. And I, another thing that we're doing out on this project, like a lot of guys have used the basalt columns with the fire. Nobody's used the basalt columns with the fire and the water the way they're intended to be used. So we've not only got this set of three, we got another set of three over there and another set of three over there, all having the water and the fire coming together. I think it's an awesome addition to any water feature. The fire's great, but when you get the water and the fire together, it's gonna to be amazing. So I think the two of us kind of finish this up, we finish planting it, get the rest of the rocks in here, get things formed and sealed, some extra lights if we need them, and then we'll let those guys do that. We've also got pee. Like if you just pan really quick, look at how busy everybody is. I mean, while you've been talking, there's been about 15 people back and <laughs> forth behind you and in front of you, so. Yeah, I love the energy of Thursday. It's just kind of go time. Like, yep. Let's get this thing done. And I think when everybody sees the light at the end of the tunnel, people work that much harder. That's all I got, right? Like today is, as Daniel would say, D-Day. What would Brian say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what Daniel would say. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just, I'm just happy that my wife's happy that I got the garbage out. That's really what it's It's garbage about. day. It's garbage day. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Garbage day, guys. <laughs> well, let's go. Just four days, and uh, I can't show you. I can't show you because you're gonna have to wait for that. But Weston, you've been there, done that a lot of times on a lot of projects. What is your take? One of your main takeaways from the Sandbox Studio experience? Well, what was fun for me, and I think I can speak for the whole team, was just we got to try things that we don't really get to try on a normal job. And it's not very frequent that you get to do a koi window, hang bowls from some crazy ceiling or tree or structure or whatever. So that was a lot of fun. Plus, it was a lot of fun working with Team Aquascape again. So. Make sure you head over to Greg's channel to see the reveal. The reveal. The reveal. That's right. It's worth it. <laughs> I wish we could show it to you, but I think we're gonna take a few minutes and just inhale everything, and I'm speechless, breathless. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. All your guys absolutely killed it. Weston came with an over-the-top design that, I gotta well, be honest. pushing crazy. I, I gotta be honest, it, it's a little bit bananas, <laughs> but there are so many ingredients into this recipe for, it's almost like expert artistry at this point. I mean, Weston is definitely a master of his craft and it's great to see you pouring into your guys as well and seeing a lot of them take your lead on a lot of things and, and they're pretty dang good themselves. Yeah, they so, are. so huge shout out to Weston, Tussie Landscaping. If you're not familiar with them, head over to Tussie Landscaping on YouTube. They do some incredible videos, probably even better than Team Aquascape <laughs> um, because this guy's, I mean, he does it all. So big thank you, brother. Thanks, Chris. You, you're amazing. Thanks for all the support and uh, pushing through even after that look of dread on Brian's face after I was like drawing on a piece of paper. So we didn't get that on camera, but it was there. It was, <laughs> yes, it was there for sure. But I think once it all came together, or started to come together, we definitely hit our stride, so. The truth is, we got lucky. Like, there's so many things that could have gone wrong. You know, the glass, the bolt, yeah. And we had the cruise guys here helping with the hard skate, which was a huge help. Yes. Thanks a lot for that cruise. Yes. And Chan, and we got lucky on every front. Awesome, awesome. Well, head over to Woodstock's channel, the Pond Guys channel, for the final reveal. Again, 
thank you. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for all fresh content from Team Aquascape. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions for myself or for Weston, go to our yep. respective channels, drop us a little comment in the box below, and we'll get back to you. And head over to Tusty. We'll be putting our probably two or three videos of this whole construction process together with an awesome dot final beauty shot reveal sequence at the very end. So make sure you hit us up. Peace.